Today I'm going to be going through how I built some Golang code in order to scan barcodes from a USB drive on my machine. So here's a brief overview of how this is going to look. Is First we're going to run a Go script of main.go. Second, I'm going to plug in a barcode scanner that I got off Amazon for 15 bucks into the USB port of my machine. Third, we're going to store that data that we scan into Neon Database, the official sponsor of this channel. And fourth, I'm going to do a display of HTML where I just show the database in all the rows so that we can see the item scanned in real time. So step one is to clone my code in the GitHub repo below and then run go run main.go from the terminal. So let's pop over to VS Code where I can show you what this looks like and go through the main.go script. So to briefly go over this main.go script, I'm importing some packages to deal with stuff like a .env and a PostgreSQL. Also setting up some data types. Here you'll see I set up the database connection to Postgres with the neon URL, which I put in my .env over here. Then when I run the main.go, I'm going to be serving at port 8080, a product.html that you see over here. And that's just going to show all the rows in my database of all the products scanned. So if we look at that, uh, we're going to receive a barcode. We're going to go to an API that will look up the UPC information. So that's going to be how we get the descriptions of what the product actually is. And once we do that, we're going to insert a row into our database of the information scanned. And like I said, we're going to be showing that template of the HTML so that we can actually see those rows in the database. So now we can run go run main.go. I'll run that and it should say ready to scan. Yep, and so now we can start scanning. So just as an example, this is the barcode scanner and you'll notice that it's plugged in through the USB of my machine and we're all ready to scan. So let's scan this container of rice I have. And there you go. We have the rice description and model number from the scan. For a test, let's just scan some Orbit gum. And there we go, we get the product title of Orbit Sweet Mint Sugar Free, the brand Orbit, and the product model. Now let's scan my espresso. For each scan, we're gonna wanna insert a row into our Neon database, who is the official database sponsor of this channel. Here's an ad from our sponsor, NeonDB. show our Neon database and some HTML using templates in Go. Here's what the basic HTML looks like. So let's go over and actually just scan a set of rice. So now let's refresh and you'll notice it updated the rice onto the scan list and it's as simple as that. A couple spots for future development could be adding a pricing API to get real-time prices of the scans. Another would be to add some type of front-end UI with a React.js, Next.js, something that looks nice where you could do a storefront UI emulation, as currently I just have the basic HTML page. If you've made it this far, thanks for checking out the video. Like and subscribe for more and go down to the description below to go to neon.tech and sign up for a free Postgres database.